Hey guys, this is Amit and you are watching Tech Dad. In this video, we are going to compare between OnePlus Nord CE 5G versus Realme X7 5G. And we will discuss which one is better in camera, performance, display, body of the devices, features, communication chips and about the prices. In the end of the video, I will tell you which one is better according to me. So watch this video till the end. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. Let the comparison start with the camera of the devices. Talking about the rear camera of the devices, Nord have triple camera setup, 64 megapixel of wide camera, 8 megapixel of ultra wide camera, 2 megapixel of depth sensor. Whereas X7 Pro have triple camera setup, 64 megapixel of wide camera, 8 megapixel of ultra wide camera, and 2 megapixel of macro camera. So it's a tie here. And about the front camera of the devices. Nord have 16 megapixel of wide camera, whereas X7 have 16 megapixel of wide camera. So it's a tie because both of the devices have 16 megapixel of wide camera, which can give you high resolution photos and, and low noisy photos. Let's talk about the camera features of the devices. Nord have LED flash, HDR, and panorama, whereas X7 Pro also have LED flash, HDR, and panorama. So it's a tie. And about the video recording options in the devices. Nord can shoot 4K video max at 30fps, Full HD video max at 120fps with gyro electronic image stabilization, whereas X7 can clock at 4K video max at 30fps, Full HD video max at 120fps with gyro electronic image stabilization. So again it's a tie because both of the devices have approximately the same recording specs. Moving to the performance of the devices, let's start with the operating system of the devices. Nord have Android 11 support, on the other side X7 also have Android 11 support. So it's a tie. And about the user interface of the devices, Nord have Oxygen OS, whereas X7 have Realme UI. So it's a tie here because both of the user interface have different UI. So it's up to you which UI you like it or not, it's up to you. Let's talk about the processor of the devices. Nord is powered by Snapdragon 750G 5G based on 8 nanometer processor, whereas X7 is powered by Dimensity 800U 5G based on 7 nanometer processor. So it's a tie here because both of the devices have approximately the same processing speed. And about the GPU of the devices, Nord is packed with Adreno 619 whereas X7 is packed with Mali G77. So again it's a tie because both of the devices can give you same FPS in games. Let's talk about the clock speed of the devices. Nord can clock at 2.2 GHz based on octa-core Creo chipset whereas X7 can clock at 2.4 GHz based on octa-core Cortex chipset. So the winner here is X7 because it has faster clock speed. And about the RAM variants in the devices, Nord have 3 options, 6, 8 and 12 GB, whereas X7 have 3, whereas X7 have 2 options, 6 and 8 GB. So the winner here is Nord because it have bigger, bigger RAM capacity options. Let's talk about the internal storage of the devices. Nord have 128 and 256 GB of storage, whereas X7 have 128 GB of storage. So the winner here is Nord because it have bigger storage option. And about the external storage of the devices, Nord did not have any external card slot, whereas X7 also did not have any, so it's a tie. Moving to the display features of the devices, let's start with the display size of the devices. Nord have 6.43 inches of display, whereas X7 have 6.4 inches of display, so it's a tie because both of the devices have approximately the same display size. And about the screen to body ratio of the devices, Nord have approximately 84.9% whereas X7 have 82.9%. So the winner here is Nord because it has slightly bigger ratio. Let's talk about the screen resolution of the devices. Nord comes with Full HD Plus display, on the other side X7 have Full HD Plus display. So it's a tie. And about the display type of the devices, Nord have Fluid AMOLED display having 90Hz of refresh rate whereas X7 have Super AMOLED display. So the winner here is Nord because it have 90Hz of refresh rate, which can give you great experience in watching content and playing games. Moving to the body features of the devices, let's start with the thickness of the devices. Nord have 7.9mm of thickness, whereas X7 have 8.1mm of thickness. So the winner here is Nord because it have slimmer body design. Talking about the weight of the devices, Nord have 170 grams of weight, whereas X7 have 176 grams of weight. So the winner here is not because it have lighter body weight. And about the protective glass of the devices, Nord have Gorilla Glass 3 whereas X7 also have Gorilla Glass 3. So I will call it a tie because both of the devices have same generation of glass which can give you same protection. Let's talk about the build quality of the devices. 
not have plastic back with plastic frame whereas x7 also have plastic back with plastic frame so it's a tie because both of the devices have same build quality and about the same options in the devices both of the devices have dual nano sim support so it's a tie moving to the some of the most important features of the devices let's start with the fingerprint scanner of the devices node have under display fingerprint scanner on the other side x7 have under display fingerprint scanner so it's a tie and about the sensors in the devices node have accelerometer gyroscope proximity and compass whereas x7 have accelerometer gyroscope proximity and compass so again it's a tie let's talk about the battery capacity of the devices node have 4500 mah battery capacity whereas x7 also have 4300 mah battery capacity so the winner here is not because it have bigger battery capacity let's talk about the charging speed of the devices not have 30 watts of fast charging whereas x7 have 50 watts of fast charging so the winner here is x7 because it can charge up the device faster let's talk about the loud speaker of the devices not comes with normal speakers whereas x7 have normal speakers so it's a tie and about the headphone jack of the devices Nord have 3.5 mm of headphone jack whereas X7 did not have any so the winner here is Nord moving to the communication chips in the devices starting with the WLAN of the devices both of the devices comes with Wi-Fi AC dual band Wi-Fi Wi-Fi direct and hotspot so it's a tie and about the bluetooth version of the devices Nord have 5.1 generation of bluetooth whereas X7 have 5.1 generation of bluetooth so again it's a tie because both of the devices have same generation of bluetooth Let's talk about the positioning chips in the devices. Nord have AGPS GLONASS Galileo BDS and Navic, whereas X7 have AGPS GLONASS Galileo BDS and QSIS chip. So I will call it a tie because both of the devices have approximately the same chips. And about the USB connectivity of the devices, Nord comes with second gen of Type C connector, but it have OTG support, whereas X7 also have second gen of Type C connector with OTG support. So it's a tie. Moving to the prices of the devices in the international market, starting range of Nord CE is around three fifty US dollars, whereas X7 is available from two fifty US dollars. In the Indian market, Nord have starting range from twenty three thousand rupees, whereas X7 is available from eighteen thousand rupees. So the conclusion of the video is: in the camera, it's a tie; in the performance, it's a tie; in the display, the winner is Nord. in the body segment the winner is nord in the features of the device it's a tie in the communication chips it's a tie and about the prices the winner is x7 so the decision is totally yours which device you like the most so far and let me know in the comment below what do you think which device is better for you so thank you guys for watching this video if you like our content please like our video share this video and subscribe to our channel comment what you thought in the comment below if you watching this video on facebook please like our page tag tag And if you want to follow me on Instagram, here's my Instagram ID on the screen. This is Amit, and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, bye.